There's an elephant in the room, and it's hiding under the hood. If you're into Hemi Cuda convertibles, then you probably already know this car. Chrysler workers only put 11 of these together back in 1971, and the breakdown of options and colors puts this as one of two U.S. delivered cars that were built with the 426 Hemi V8 and the four-speed manual transmission. Maybe it's because there were only 11 of these built, or because it's got the legendary Hemi V8, or maybe it's the killer styling. Whatever the reason, the 1971 Hemi Cuda convertible is the big fish in the muscle car world. It's always fun to learn how these cool old cars live their lives, and in this case, the Hemi was put to good use. Built in February of 1971, this true blue fish cruised the streets of St. Louis for a few months before it was sold to an Ohio gentleman who rung it out in stock eliminator drag racing. The car was lettered up as the Mountain Mopar. A hotter Hemi was swapped in, and the car was raced through 1974. Back then, nobody had any idea how valuable these cars would someday become. Chrysler engineers brought the Hemi concept to the table for land-going V8s, an idea earlier used in aircraft. The hemispherical or dome-shaped combustion chamber positions the intake and exhaust valves kind of across from each other rather than right next to each other, so the intake charge flows nearly straight across the chamber and out the exhaust side without having to change direction mid-sequence. It's interesting to note that Chrysler's very first V8 the 331 cube firepower V8 back in 1951 was a Hemi-headed design, and it was obvious that the Chrysler team had these wild engines figured out. This version uses a pair of AFB four-barrel carburetors to supply the fuel to the giant-headed 426, and a hydraulic camshaft makes this race-bred engine a little more street-friendly. But still, the rugged 426 Street Hemi cranks out 425 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque through the close ratio four-speed and a 410 geared Dana 60 locking rear axle. The Hemi is one of the few big blocks that doesn't mind the high RPM of a 410 gear as it was bred to race wide open on super speedways. The car was retired from racing back in 1974 and was stored in a dry facility for many years until it was treated to a fantastic restoration. And today, the car appears a bit nicer than it was the day it was born, but it's very correct in its equipment and its appearance. The owner lineage is documented and the car is a shining example of the elusive 71 Hemi Cuda convertible. Only three 1971 Hemi Cuda convertibles were four-speed cars, and the two sold originally in the U.S. were both blue. This one shelters the driver with a white convertible top. The other one has a black top. The Cuda was redesigned for 1970, and one of the things they did was make the engine bay a little bigger to accommodate the giant 426 Hemi and dual quad carburetors but they didn't mess up the overall proportion of the car. It still has a short deck with a long nose, and the overall aspect is long and low and wide. And many people think that the 1971 updates of the revised grille and fender gills are some of the coolest elements on any muscle car. The allure of the Hemi Cuda convertible pulls hard. First, you have the dynamic styling, which looks good from any angle. The fender gills, shaker hood scoop, that awesome grille, the blacked out rear panel, it's all muscle car gold, man. But this one also adds a tight fitting, super rare body colored elastomeric front bumper. It's hard to blend in when you're driving a Hemi Cuda convertible. 
Inside a Hemi Cuda convertible is a comfortable place to hang out, thanks in part to the wide chassis design, which intended to accommodate the big Hemi up front. Comfortable bucket seats put you in the right place for business, but this car does not feature a factory rally gauge package. It does have an AM FM radio, not that you want to hear anything than the rumble from down under. The blue on blue color scheme looks great on this car, and the white convertible top and minimal bright work really help set it off. Whenever the garage conversation veers into Hemi Cuda convertible territory, it's hard not to mention the value of these cars. And while I'm certainly not a player in that card game, I'm forever grateful to the Brothers Collection to allow me to stand by these cars and share them with those of you who watch Muscle Car of the Week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.